You're disrupting traffic, idiots. You can't do that. That's against the law. We have breaking news. Pro-Palestine protesters have flooded both the Brooklyn and Manhattan bridges, as well as the Holland Tunnel. The protest causing significant traffic delays. Or major disruptions to city traffic as pro-Palestinian demonstrators block the Holland Tunnel, Brooklyn Bridge, and the Manhattan Bridge this morning. Get away from my car! Pro-Palestinian demonstrators blocked New York Bridge and tunnel traffic. And let me know your thoughts. You saw the video footage of that individual, that man that was very upset as they were blocking traffic. And he said, listen, I've got a daughter I've got to get to. What do you think should be the repercussions of these protesters blocking traffic and hindering the everyday lives of American people? Uh, you heard some people shouting out, just drive right through them. However, he said, I'm not going to do that. But he did need to get through and you saw there was tons of people that had their lives disrupted because of these protesters. What do you think should be the repercussions of this? This is taking place right now, and they're saying that they're not going to stop until there's a ceasefire in Gaza. And take a look at the headlines coming out on the first day of the year. Israel expects a long war, and they're rotating troops in and out, and they're saying there is no end at sight at this time. So this could continue on. Now, I'm going to be sharing with you the latest video footage and articles, so that way you can see exactly what's taking place for yourself today. This is the breaking news coming out of streets being blocked in New York as pro-Palestinian protesters block bridges all around New York. But before we dive in, do me a quick favor. If you appreciate the updates, don't forget, smash the like button just takes a second. Hit subscribe to stay up to date. It's totally free. And to stay connected off of social media platforms, be sure to join me at www.steveramnews.com to get the latest. But with that being said, let's go ahead and dive right in. You're disrupting traffic, idiots. You can't do that. That's against the law. I'm not gonna start throwing fists at you, bro. I'm not gonna run you over. Get away from my car. Get away from my car. Get away from my car. Bro, get away from my car. I have a daughter in Brooklyn. Don't touch him. Get in your car. Get the out of the way. Run him over. Run him over. Don't touch him. Get out of the way. I have to get home. What are you going to accomplish here today? Everything. All media and all press. All everything that everyone before me accomplished. Away. Which is what? The liberation of Palestine. Or major disruptions to city traffic as pro-Palestinian demonstrators block the Holland Tunnel, Brooklyn Bridge, and the Manhattan Bridge this morning. CBS News' Jessica Moore is live at the Manhattan Bridge with the latest there. And Jessica, the bridge is now clear? 
Mary, it is. Police tell me, in fact, all locations around the city are now clear, but this was a massive demonstration. Hundreds of people blocking traffic in and out of Manhattan. Here at the Manhattan Bridge, we saw people chaining, ramming devices to their arms that had to be cut off with buzz saws as they were arrested. And one of the women here tells me that's to make sure that they blocked as much traffic as possible. It all started around 10 o'clock this morning. A coordinated protest blocking bridges and tunnels. Video shows demonstrators sitting at the entrance to the Brooklyn Bridge. It was the same scene at the Holland Tunnel where Port Authority police arrested dozens who blocked the tunnel's entrance. We saw dozens more arrests here at the Manhattan Bridge. NYPD officers mobilized to the bases of the bridges, dispatching officers from headquarters to all three locations. Police say things were mostly peaceful, but they caused major disruptions to drivers. Of course, yesterday marks three months since Hamas attacked Israel and then Israel invaded Gaza in response. People here say they plan to escalate the demonstrations until there is a complete ceasefire. We did meet one man out here, a single man holding an Israeli flag. He said he was on his way to work, couldn't get across the Manhattan Bridge. He's been to several of these demonstrations, pulled the flag out of his trunk and stood out here. He tells me that the protesters or demonstrators are just uninformed. So there you have it. And link in the description below to this article that came out today that says pro-Palestinian demonstrators on Monday today day blocked off entrances to the Holland Tunnel and the Brooklyn, Manhattan, and Williamsburg, disrupting rush hour traffic in Manhattan as they protested Israel's bombardment of the Gaza Strip and called for a ceasefire. Protesters gathered at the Holland Tunnel around 9.30 a.m. and held aloft a Palestinian flag and banners that read, Lift the siege on Gaza and end the occupation. Nearby, a group of demonstrators in fluorescent vests and masks linked arms and redirected cars away from the outbound ramp. Shortly thereafter, they were arrested. 125 protesters at the tunnel in all, according to the police, with some chanting Free Palestine as they sat on the ground with their hands tied. However, as I mentioned to you, there seems to be no end of this war in sight. Months into the war on Gaza, Israel's military is adjusting its troop deployment in anticipation of an even longer-lasting fighting. And as we've heard, many nations in the Middle East are blaming the United States directly for what's taking place in Gaza as they are saying that we are Israel's allies and we are helping support them as they are defending themselves in the attacks against Hamas. Now, we actually heard the United States and 13 allies say that they are giving their final warning to Iran, who is fighting funding a lot of these terrorist groups in the Red Sea that are attacking. And they said this is the final warning, which a lot of people are saying means that things could be intensifying here very soon. And a lot of people saying it's just more empty threats from the current administration that is running the United States. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. But to get the latest, be sure to check out this video right here as I cover the final warning coming from the United States. And also, in the United States, 23 state capitals go into lockdowns and evacuations after threats take place two days in a row. Be sure to check out these videos right here next to get caught up on the latest. And as more information comes out, I'll be sure to keep you up to date here on the channel. But with that being said, thank you so much for joining me, and I'll catch you in the next one. Take care. God bless. This is Steve.